Hi, welcome to my short tutorial on how to set up a basic tower, how to set up the money system, and also set up a life system. First, we will set up a tower, and I just use this basic guy here, and we're going to change the behavior to soldier, as I find that this one works best, and I'll get rid of the health and click edit logic. Here, we don't want the tower to move, so what we'll do is we'll make walk speed zero, run speed zero, and random walk frequency zero. Don't worry about defense, we'll turn that off. Uh, and we'll make the detection range the same as the attacking range six and six, and make sure that the patrol zone covers that area as well. Um, so the tags we want to attack is ground, and the damage we want to do is two each time it attacks. So we'll go ahead and save that as a preset and we'll call that tower one. And we'll go ahead and test that out and see what that looks like. And now you can see the tower attacks and it's a slow attacking tower, but you can see there's a symbol above its head. We want to get rid of that. So we'll go ahead and add an indicator component. And all we do is just turn everything off and to zero, and that should get rid of the symbol above its head. Just like that. Perfect. Now if we go ahead and save over that preset. Done. Now when we see the tower attack, it should just attack without the symbol above its head. If you want to attack faster, you need to add some speed gems to your attack, uh, to your towers to attack faster, uh, and things like that. As you can see, uh, the attack speed requires blue speed gems. So when you add blue speed gems to your asset, your value can increase further. Excellent. So that's how we bring out a basic tower to attack our wave. Next, we want to add money each time we kill the enemy. So we'll go ahead and click Gameplay, Game Rules, and we'll go ahead and add a variable. We'll click the plus symbol at the bottom, and we want a number. We'll make it a global, and we'll call it money. We'll start off with zero. We want to show it at the start. You can have it at the left-hand side or at the bottom. That is up to you. Uh, let's do left-hand side in this example, and we'll call this money. Awesome. Now we will add a rule, and that is a game screen rule and display, and we want to show money. And click add, and we'll select a variable money, because that's what we want to display, and we want it to be true. Awesome. So if we go ahead and press tab, we should see on the left hand side money. But when the enemies die, nothing gets added. So we want that to happen next. We'll go ahead to our preset and bring out our first preset to show you that we have made a message argument in the previous tutorial. And that one here is listening for the message money. And this is where you can change the value of how much money you get on each wave. Going back to the rule system, we're gonna add a rule and that is math and we're gonna add and subtract number. We want to use the message money, the yellow one with the argument, to add money. The variable we want to change is the money one. The value we want to change is by message argument, and that's the money argument on our enemies. Awesome. We don't have to send a message after it's changed, but that's all we need to do here. So now, when we go ahead and test this out, each time an enemy dies, you can see on the left-hand side, our money increases by whatever the variable is on the wave. And that's how we get the money. Same thing with the lives system. So when we get to the end, we have a message that says lose life. So we go to our gameplay, game rules. We're gonna add a variable, it's a number, and we'll call it lives. Uh, we want to start with 10 lives in this game. We want to show it uh, probably next to the money underneath it. We'll just call that lives. We want to display that variable. So we already got a, uh, a display variable set up. So we'll click the dots, 
duplicate it and we'll just change the money to lives. Perfect. Next we want to add and subtract number again. So we'll go ahead and duplicate this one. The money required is uh, lose life, was it? Lose life. The variable we want to change is the life system. And here we want to just do a fixed value of minus one. So now when enemies reach the end, you will lose one life. Go ahead and save that and test that out and see if it all works as it should. All right, so you can see each time an enemy dies, we get one money. You can see an enemy's walk past and we still have 10 lives. But once this one here reaches the end, you should see that our lives will go down by one. Yes, it does. And we don't get any money for that either. You only get rewarded when it's killed, not when it reaches the end. So you can see our life system is already working. Perfect. Another thing we can add here is we can add a rule and we want to do a comparison and we want to compare numbers. Awesome. First thing we want to do is when we lose a life, we want to see check life We'll just say check life. So each time we lose a life, it sends a message check life after it minus one. We'll bring that over here on compare numbers. So when we lose a life, it will send a message to check life and a check life will, will compare the life value. We wanna see if it equals zero. If it equals zero, we wanna send a message defeat. This we want a game over to trigger. And all we need to do now is just select um, any component and put in the defeat. Um, I guess I need to make a duplicate, get rid of the single player and then check defeat because it's only multiplayer at this stage. And then we have the defeat here. So when we receive the message defeat, it should be game over. And that's how that part is set up. So that's how we set up a basic tower, um, the basic money system and a basic life system with a defeat counter. I hope that's been useful and I'll have more information in the next tutorial. Have a great day.